all of you who are here today to worship the Lord. Amen. I was sitting back there and thinking, well, today I won't have to preach. Amen. And Sister Tracy says, your feet are coming on. Oh, Lord. Sister Tracy, you must let it come on. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. That's how our God moves and that's how our God works. And, and I, I was just sitting back and I just, she was fired up. Must have stopped you, Sister Tracy. Just keep on. You know, God, I, I, I remember some Sunday, some time ago last year when Brother Danny Rogers was here preaching for us and he said, if you're not his path, we made this statement and it said God's going to mess up things this morning. And, and you remember that? Yes. Amen. It said God's going to mess up things. And I said, God, you just mess it up here this morning and, 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 and go ahead. So, Sister Tracy, you need it just to continue because yes. I feel that uh, so many things you shared with us today. Yes. And indeed, God wants us as His people to, to, to worship Him. Amen. To Amen. worship Him. After all, that is why we come into His presence. Amen. We come into the presence of the Lord to give Him praise and to give Him glory and to give all Lord honor because indeed God has been good to us. Has he been good to you? Yes. Hallelujah. You know, as you go back to the course of the week, the Lord has been good. If he has been good to you, I'd just like you to stand. If you can stand this morning, stand. It's a blessing. Amen. To be able to stand just all over this place, lift your voices and give praise and give glory and give adoration to the Lord. For indeed he is worthy. This week, just this week, you know, Sister Rogers took ill, and you know, she would have been here this morning with us. Yes. She took ill, and then Brother Rogers, uh, Dave came along and, with a message from uh, Brother Rogers and, and, and said that Sister Rogers is in the hospital. And you know, I, I went uh, there to visit her, and I thought, you know, it would have been just that she is there and we'd be able to share a word. Amen. And, and when, when I got there, I must tell you, I was shocked to see the state and the condition of somebody that you know and, and not even conscious of the fact that you were there and cannot even share a word. And it, it struck me to, for, to realize what is man? What is man? What is man? The psalmist David said that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him. My friends, we are just a vapor. The Bible tells us we are vapor. We are uh, appear for a moment, and then the other moment we are gone. Oh God, Amen. And and then it has been a trying time for the family, and and we thank God for prayers, and and for God is working on our behalf, and we we want to continue to give Him thanks. You never realize how important these things are.
his mother. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You may be seated this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Children, it's so good to be in the presence of the Lord. It's so good to be thankful. It's so good to be grateful. You know, we, 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 we live, I was sharing with somebody as it was revealed to me that, you know, we live in a very ungrateful age. And people are so ungrateful and people are so unthankful. Even your very children are very ungrateful, isn't it? Uh, you can do so many things and then, you know, sometimes not even thank you. Isn't it? You don't see how this generation is? You have to remind them all the time. What did you say? And if you don't remind them, they won't even say thank you. Amen? Isn't that so? Don't you see it? And you know sometimes we bring that same attitude. It's a spirit, you know, that same attitude in the presence of the Lord. And we know God has been good to us. We know God has been grateful. We know God is guiding our lives. We know that God is provided. And then sometimes it's so hard to get that praise. To get that praise out of us. And that, that spirit of gratitude and thankfulness to the Lord for all that he has done. And let us not as the children of God uh, become captivated by the spirit of the age. But let us be different in our praise to God. Hallelujah. In spite of all that is happening around us, our God has been good to us. And he's still good. And he's still doing good. Uh, as one somebody said, every way he went, he is doing good. He's a mighty healer. He, he, he cleansed the leper. When the people saw him, uh, they started walking everywhere. He went, my Lord, and was doing good. Who that is? Who is the someone is speaking about? He's speaking about our Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. We need to be thankful. That's why we come into his house to, to give him praise. As Sister Tracy was said, she said so many things this morning under the inspiration. You know, when God has done so much for you, we just need to be thankful. We just need to be thankful. I, I don't want no stone to take my place. What about you? I don't want no stone. I want to share with you this morning from the second book of Kings. Chapter 2, 1 to 14, which was read in our morning lesson. And the topic I would like to use this morning is obtaining the double portion. Obtaining the double portion. Obtaining the double portion. Could you just say that? Obtaining the double portion. Now, I didn't say obtaining a double portion, but the double portion. Because that tells me that there is a double portion that I could receive. You understand? Amen. There is something over there that God wants us to have this morning. Amen. Glory be to God. I, I always love that song when I worship team to this one. Lord, whatever you're doing in the streets, don't do it without me. That one really blessed my heart. You could sing that every Sunday. I would be a happy person because it really thrills my heart and, and bless my soul. But you know something? I want to get in the floor of that. I want to get in what God is doing. You know, some people just like to stay in the background when things are happening. And when you stay in the background, you don't get anything. Listen, God is about to do things, amen, in this, this, this year. And I don't want to be in the background. People, you know, some people like to peep and see what's going on. Then ask you what happened. Come up front. Come up front. Get in the action. Amen. Because God is about to do something. The Lord has inspired or overseer with a team for this year. Who knows what the team is for this year? Breakthrough. Come on, let me hear you say it. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You were looking forward for a breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Are you really looking forward for a breakthrough? Amen. You know, when you think about breaking through, that means something got your pin up. Amen. Amen. There is something that you need some release from. And God is about to break forth. Amen. And I want my breakthrough. What about you? Come on. Sister Trace will say that that you know that um, sometimes we, we we just say these things and and then no no but we gotta get serious about it. We gotta get serious about it. We gotta get serious about our breakthrough and and, and I just don't want to talk about a, a breakthrough, but I, I want that breakthrough all over me. Amen. I want that breakthrough and I break through. You will know that I break through. Amen. Hey, Pastor Daniel, you will know that I break through. He always tell me I like to see when you get loose. Hey, Oh, yes, you know, we all say, I like 
tendency when they get loose. Amen. But Pastor Daniel, I don't want to be loose all the time. Yes. I want to be loose. What about you this morning? I tell you, God is going to do something this year. Amen. And He's calling us. God is calling us. God wants to do something. And we, we keep saying He want to do it, but God is ready. What about you? I feel it in my soul. And I feel it in my spirit this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. God is doing something in my life. He's doing something in my spirit. Oh, glory be to God. I'm one crazy man because I know that God is just working on the inside. I feel a fire burning in my soul. I feel a fire burning in my spirit because I know that God is about to do something and I don't want to miss it. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. I want that freedom in my soul. Can you say freedom? Freedom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, in this passage of Scripture, it's a very, very familiar passage of Scripture, and, then, and it, it records the, the homegoing uh, of one of God's greatest men, you know, in the word, uh, Elijah. He was a great man of God. Amen. And I'm sure as you read his account, you see how the Lord had used him greatly in his generation. Who believed that God can use you greatly in this generation? Come on. This is your generation. That was his generation. And I, I'm just using him. But we're not going back in his generation. That's past. But we are looking at this generation of God is about to use you now to do something great in his uh, kingdom. Amen? Amen? Amen, Amen church. Amen. Amen. You're going to preach with me this morning. Amen. 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 Praise God. This thing isn't about when you come. You know, sometimes we come and, and let me say, you know, some people come, Lord, well, give me a word. Give me a word. Come on, my friends. The word is there. Come to the table. Amen. Come to the table. Some people are too shy. Amen. And then and, and, and to come for their food. They like the food, but they're just too shy. And when you're shy, you don't get the good things. Amen. Amen. You gotta push your way forward. Whenever they got buffet lines, I like to be up front. Amen. Amen. That's a sensible thing to do. If you stay behind, everybody up front going with everything. Sometimes, tell the truth, I push, I ease. I, I start my somebody to start a conversation, so I will slip through. Because I want to get up there and get some of the first things first. Amen. Amen. You know when you stay back in the line, what you do? The first people up front get three pieces of relish. <laughs> Who comes after get one piece? Amen. And I tell you, God got a table spread. Amen. Amen. And you know something? Glory be to God. You got to get in the floor. God is about to flow. God is about to start some waters. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. The Lord feel He just want to loose me from these notes I have here this morning. Amen. Glory be to God. This great man of God, and here was a younger man named Elisha. Amen. And Elisha looked at Elijah, and there was something about Elijah that Elisha wanted. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. I remember as a young man growing up in the church, there was something that Bishop Rogers had that I wanted. You were hearing me this morning. Something that Brother Stephen had that I wanted. You know what it was? These were the preachers of the Word of God that preached to us. I was a young minister. I didn't know how to preach this. I didn't have any formal training, but I listened to them. Are you hearing me? And I sat in my seat and I said, I wish I could preach like Bishop Rogers. I wish I could preach like Brother Stephen. Listen to me, these men of 
people have a lot of wants today. Yes, they want a lot of stuff and, and a lot of needs. Amen. 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 Thank God. And, and he looked at this man and he, he said, I, I need something this man has. Oh God. I think Pastor Diana, this is one time you can be covetous. <laughs> and you won't get charged for it. Amen. Oh yeah, because the Bible said you can desire spiritual gifts. Isn't that right? Oh glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Young people. Amen. Amen. You can have the fire that your servants, the servants of God have. You know you can have that fire too. Like Pastor Daniel. Yes. Come on. Amen. 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 He has his gifts and calling, but my friends, it's time that somebody follow after him yes. to get the mantle. Yes. Amen. Yes. Glory be to God. One day he won't be able to do it anymore. Yes. Hallelujah. Bishop Rogers, stand with me. Stand with me. I know when he was young and fiery, but he can't do it the same way anymore. He will try his best, but I can't. She's 
I just got to find an inspiration. Bishop Rogers, God is about to do something in this season, but you can't miss it. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Brother Mitch, even though you're saying, don't do it without me. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Oh God, and he, he went along with him. Now you see, when you need something from God, you don't let anything or anybody deter you. That's right. Amen. Amen. You see, God's blessings are not just going to come upon you like that. Uh -huh. Amen. You've got to exert yourself. we got to break the spirit of laziness. We live in a lazy, lazy, lazy age. Have you ever seen people so lazy they don't want to get up in natural life, they want to sleep. Yes. Yeah. Come on now. That's right. You have to wake them up to work. Yeah. Huh? Physical life. That's right. You got to wake them up. Wake them up. Get up. It's time to go to work. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Bishop said you got to wake them up to eat. <laughs> this time eat everything and go back to sleep. <laughs> Because they're so amazing. Amen. Oh God, but God help us. Help us. And you see sometimes the spirit of the age captivate us. And, and the same thing we do in the physical, we want to do it in the spiritual. And we expect God to bless us and life to go well, but it won't happen so. That's right. Amen. 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 You see, that's why sometimes you come in church and you got to bring pumps. Yes. And pumps and pumps to, to, to pump up people to praise God. But listen, when you are living in the land of praise, when you are living close to God, you see, you come with a praise. You come with your praise to lay on the altar. You don't need nobody to tell you to praise God. Because praise is consuming your soul. It's consuming your spirit. Amen. Because you are living in that realm. Amen. Because you are following half after God. And, ah, they expect the worship team to do it for them. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. You've got to come with your own oil. That's right. I say you've got to come with your own oil. Yes. We are going to catch fire, but everybody got to bring their own oil. Yes. Come on, come on. Amen. You can't waste a week away gossiping and frolicking and then expect to catch fire. You've got to gather the oil. You've got to come with your oil. You've got to come prepared. Determined in his heart that I must have a breakthrough. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So he didn't stop. He didn't stop. Then Elijah, and then the thing about it, when he got over to Bethel, the Bible tells us that the sons of the prophets. Yeah. Now, what Elijah was doing was Elijah knew that he was going home. God was going to call him home. That, that, that was, was, was the situation. God was about to call him home. Oh, yeah. So what he was doing, he was paying a last visit to his schools. Oh, yeah. The schools where he taught these prophets. Yeah. Amen. And he was making his last visit before the Lord would take him away. And here the sons of the, the prophets, they, they say to Elisha. In other words, they said, don't you know? That the Lord is going to take away your master from your head today. He said, I know it. I know what's happening. I know what's going on. But hold your peace. Hold your peace. You keep quiet. I was in the same school with you. Amen. I'm a student too. And I know what's going on. Probably you sat in class and you didn't pay attention. But I know. Something is about to happen, and I don't want to miss it. In other words, they were saying, Why are you following this old man up and down the place? Don't you know that God is finished with him? Amen. That's why he was following, because he knew that he was going, but there was still a minister to carry on. My friends, if you allow anybody, to stop you and to deter you, then you've got a problem. 
Because the devil would always bring people, things, situations to stop you from achieving and from receiving. Amen. And then, then Elijah turned to him again and said, The Lord had sent me to Jericho. Jericho. And then he said, You stay here. You stay here. See, the temptation is always to stay here. The temptation is always to stay here. Don't move on. Don't, don't move on. You see, the devil doesn't really care that we come to church. He doesn't care about that. That's not a big problem. Because a lot of people everywhere go to church. But he is concerned when you start to get serious about God. He's concerned when you begin to see God and let and, 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 and God work in your life. That's when he becomes concerned about you and he launches his attack against you. But I'm here to tell you this morning that you can be an overcomer in the name of Jesus. Elijah said, I will not leave you. I'm going to Jericho too. I'm going there. I'm going there. I will not stay here because there is something, something that I need. And I'm not going to give up. And then again, here with the sons of the prophets, there is always somebody again. Somebody always to discourage you from going on. The devil will always send somebody in the way to change your mind and turn you back from aspiring and going. This morning, tell the devil that you want to have your breakthrough. You must have your breakthrough this morning. Glory be to God because you are not going to be the turn. Hallelujah. So he went along. He went along and then they came to the Jordan. And he said to him, Listen, stay here. See how many times? Oh, sometimes we talk about me being discouraged. Perhaps so if he's so discouraged, I don't want to go on. Listen, as you live in this life, there are going to be situations, there are going to be things, but you can overcome them in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. 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 Glory be to God in the process. You might lose some stuff, but you don't have to lose your soul. Amen. Because God is able to see you through. He's able to sustain you. Glory be to God. You know sometimes you break things in your way because he wants to steal your mind. But tell the devil this morning, it doesn't matter what situation you bring. I'm not going mad. I'm not going crazy because God has not given me the spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a soft mind. I'm serving a God this morning that is able to see me through. He lives. Amen. I can face tomorrow. Glory be to God. I can face my situations because my God lives. I'm serving a God this morning that is alive, that is real. As once the writer said, God is not dead. He is still alive. I can feel him in my hands. Can you feel him this morning? He said, I can feel him in my hands. I can feel him in my feet. I can feel him all over me. That's the God. Serving this morning, he's a God that is able, able to see us through. Somebody need to give him a praise. Amen. If you feel in your heart and in your spirit this morning that you are serving a God that is able to see you through, just give him a praise with your voices. I want to back up a little bit. You know, when they started out on this journey, the Bible tells us that they, they were in Gilgal. No. And Gilgal is a place of beginning. Hmm? That's where it all started. That's where the place where the first Passover took place. And that was the place where 
the circumcision took place that all those children who were born in the wilderness wanderings, place of beginnings. And you see, sometimes the devil want to keep us right there. When, when, when the prophet tell him to stay here, that was a very significant place to a Jew because, oh, I need to stay here. Here is so precious to me. And I have so much of fond memories about this place. I, I don't want to move on from here. And some people are just staying just where they are. And they're not moving from there. But listen to me. If you stay here, you're not going to receive anything more. But God has something better for you. Greater for you. Amen. But you've got to move from the place of beginnings. Amen. You remember Jericho? Jericho was a place that they had their first military battle. Hmm? They could have stayed there and ravel and, and, and be so enclosed in the victory that we had. How we marched around these walls. Amen. And all we did was shout. And the walls came down. Something to hold on to, isn't it? But listen to me, God has something greater. God has something greater. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. I say God got something greater. Greater for you to accomplish this. But you've got to be determined. You've got to be determined. The Bible said that they, they reached to this place. Now Jordan. And again, he was supposed to stay here. But you see, when you stay behind, you miss what God is about to do. You never receive the breakthrough that you need. And the Bible said, when, when Elijah got to, 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 to the Jordan River, he folded up his mantle and he smoothed the waters. And the waters parted. Hither and thither, and the boat went over. What a, what a joy, what a privilege it is. Amen. Glory be to God that this young man was present to see God working in such a powerful way. You see, we want to see God working. We got to keep following. We got to keep following. We got to keep following. We can't give up. We can't get weary. We can't get discouraged. We got to keep on going. If you want to experience God in a great dimension in your life, amen. And when he got over there, he posed the question to him, Brother Franklin. He said, What is it? Because you realize the persistence. Listen to me. Perseverance brings success, isn't it? Yeah. Amen. Amen. If you persevere long enough, you're going to come through. You're going to break through. Glory be to God. You see, that's why there's obstacles and obstructions in your way. You listen to the nugget that Sister Tracy read this morning. Amen. We can overcome every obstacle and every obstruction in our way. They will be there, but we can overcome them in the name of Jesus. We can Say like Caleb, we are really able to go up and take the country and possess the land from Jordan to the sea. The giants might be there to prevent us. Oh God will surely give us the victory. Listen, there's victory in Jesus. There's victory. I tell you, every child of God can live in victory this morning. You don't need to have partial victory. You can have full victory in your soul this morning because we are so Elijah. But he said, 
If acts are hard to me. My friends, the blessings of God is hard. And it won't just happen because we had a good happy summer service. But it will happen for those who get alone with God. Those who seek God. Get alone in a secret place and cry out before God and, and, and really reach out to God with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your heart. That Lord, I want you to take charge of my life. I want you to take charge of me. I want you to guide me. I want you to be the director of my life. I'm hungry for you. I want you to bless me. I want you to bless me. He said you asked the hard thing. In other words, he said what you've asked me. I can't give you. Amen. For well, only God can give that double portion. But he made a condition. He said, but if you see me, if you see me, if you see me when I'm taken away from you, so I believe that he would pray to God and God would, would grant that request. But he said, listen, there's a condition. There's always a condition. There's always a condition for the blessings of God. Amen. Glory be to God. There's always a price to pay. Are you willing to pay the price? Listen, it's so nice to be able to repeat our team for the air breakthrough. But you know there's a price to pay, to pay for breakthrough. And if you're willing to pay the price, we will have our breakthrough. Amen, church? No, no. I say, if you're willing to pay the price this morning, we will have the breakthrough. Yes. Are you willing to pay the price? Yes. Are you willing to pay the price? He said, but if you see me, so what it means, he had to stay focused. He had to stay focused. He had to keep his eyes upon Elijah. He couldn't turn away. He could not be distracted. You cannot afford to be distracted. Yeah. So many things to distract us. But if you stay focused, if you stay focused, if you see me, if you see me, if you see me, could you imagine what was happening? That if Elijah turns so, he turns so. If he turns so, he turns so. If he stood down, he stood down. If you see me, if you see me, Hallelujah. If you see me, <clears throat> Hallelujah. If you see me, glory be to God. Spirit of the living God next to your people. He said, if you see me, children, you can receive your breakthrough this morning, but he said, if you see me, if you see me, when I'm taken away, then you're going to receive it. You're going to receive it. You're going to receive it. Whatever you are struggling with today, you can have your breakthrough, but you've got to stay focused. I say you've got to stay focused because remember, remember there was many opportunities for Elijah to turn back, isn't it? Many opportunities to turn back. And even sometimes some of your friends when you are determined to go forward, we want you to stay back. Don't think because they're in the same church with you, they wouldn't want you to go back. Because some people just need determined to go nowhere. You don't know that? Natural life in life, in natural life, some people just determine they ain't going nowhere, brother Mitch. Because they ain't going nowhere, you shouldn't go nowhere neither. So you tell them you're going to do something? Where you getting that from? Simply because they ain't going nowhere. So they don't want to see you go nowhere. And so in the spiritual, some people need a tunnel. Some people are so contented. They ain't going nowhere. And they want to make sure you ain't going nowhere either. But you got to be determined. I say you got to be determined. And that's why sometimes you got to know who you're talking to. Amen? Amen? Amen. Glory be to God, you've yeah. got to know who you're talking to. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? These sons of the prophets, they all went to the same school. They were prophets too. Yeah. They should have been out looking for something. That's right. They, they, and here the Bible said when they, when they thought the thing would happen, they went up in a mountain to view afar off. Uh -huh. 
They, they wanted nothing. They wanted nothing. And there's some people just, just don't want nothing. So and you're late, Capitan, so you won't get nothing. Hmm? Amen. That, that, that's how it is. When you're determined to step out for God, you're going to lose some friends, you're going to lose some people. Yes, yes, yes. Come on now. Amen. Amen. But you see, you've got to be determined because I need to get something. You gotta cut yourself loose from some people and say, well, you don't want nothing on your business. You stay there, but I'm going on. That's right, that's right. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Because, my friend, that's the honest way. You're going to achieve and receive the blessing of that's God. That's right. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes you gotta drop some friends. Huh? Sometimes you gotta drop some friends, you gotta drop them. You don't know that? Yes. You gotta drop them hard. That's true. Uh-huh. Drop them. If you don't drop them, they're gonna drop you. Yes. Amen. 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 They're gonna drop you. If you don't drop them, they're gonna drop you. Yes. I don't mean drop you by not being your friend. Drop you and they drop something out your hand. They get mashed up. You drop the child. Broke it up. And you are determined to go forward for God. That is what you've got to do. Yes. Amen. You've got to drop them. Anybody that can help you to prepare forward. Then you've got to drop them. Amen, church. If they're not helping you to get closer to God, you've got to drop them. Don't get nice there. Sure. You got to drop them. Right. If you're determined that you want to live for God, you want to receive your breakthrough in life, then you got to drop them. Yeah. Amen. And you got to stay focused. For that's the only way that you're going to make it. It's the only way that you're going to receive the power potion. It's the only way you're going to be able to cry out, My Father, My Father. The chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. So on the way, you're going to be able then to go and pick up the mantle of the anointing of God upon your life. It's the only way you're going to be able to cross your job. Yes, 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 yes. Remember where this man was. And listen, you need, for some of us where you are, if you don't have the anointing of God upon your life, you're going to get back with a job. Amen. Oh, if you don't have that, you're going to be able to break through. Could you imagine that Elisha, Elisha was stuck over there, Brother Lynch. He had to get back over. And you can't fake this thing. It got to be real. I say it has to be real. Who knows the power and the anointing of God is real. Amen. Do I have any witnesses in here this morning? Who knows that the power and the anointing of God it's real. Hallelujah. 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 I say God's anointing and power is real. Glory be to God. When Elijah got to the Jordan waters, glory be to God. He said he rolled up that mantle the same way as he saw Elijah did it. And he smote the waters. And he said, where is the God of Elijah? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. When he say that, the waters parted. Glory be to God.
talking about a powerful God who called on fire from heaven. Is that right? Lick up the water, lick up the sacrifice. So he was not just saying, Where is the God of Elijah for Saul? Amen. When he was talking about a God that he knew operated in this man's life that was powerful. When he said, Where is the God of Elijah? He was speaking about the man who shut up the heaven for three years and six months. And he said to Ahab, Hey, let me tell you something. You think that you rule things out here, but God is in control. And I'll tell you that Ahab is not ready to part the church. You believe you're serving that God? Thank you, Jesus. He's here this morning. Would you stand with me? Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Children of God, I mean, Elijah is here this morning. He is here this morning. God wants to do something in your life. God wants to do something in your life. He wants to make a breakthrough. He wants to bring he wants to break through for you this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, you can receive that double portion this morning. Sister Trace, I said I'm sick of being sick. Our programs just saying things. And then when we go, it has no meaning, no substance. But God is about to change that. God is about to change that among us. Glory be to God. Amen. I say God is about to change that. God is about to change that this morning. It's time that the church begin to believe the word of God. Glory be to God. And I want all of you to remember it as we... Look at the five prayer points that our overseer shared with us that we are supposed to take through the year. Along with the breakthrough team, my friends, we need to look at these things. Amen. And pray to God that God will help us. As his children, we have a great appreciation and love for the word of God. Pray for the servants of God that God will give to them boldness, prophetic anointing, prophetic accuracy to declare the truths of God. I believe today that is where God wants us to be. Hallelujah. God is about to change the status quo. I say God is about to change the status quo. And who want to stay stiff in their corner? My friend, that's your business. But God is about to move. God is about to mess up the way we do things. God is about to move. Oh, we used to sing a chorus and say the move is on. My brother, the move is on. Oh, glory be to God. I heard the rustling in the mulberry trees. And I know the move is on. He said, move on, brothers. Move on, sisters. This is the moving day. Glory be to God. This moving my soul this morning. Glory be to God. God is about to move. God is about to trouble the waters this morning. Hallelujah. And only those who step in will receive. I challenge you this morning. As you stand here in the presence of God and I'll share prayer with you. If you feel in your heart this morning, yes, Lord, I want to break through. I want to really break through. Lord, I've been struggling with something in my life, and I've been praying to you, but I haven't gotten that victory yet. And you know you haven't gotten the victory yet because you're still in the valley of indecision. You have not decided yet. You have not 
released yourself yet. But God wants to release you this morning. And you truly want to follow hard after God and receive a double portion. You really want God to change things about your life this morning. Glory be to God. About your ministry this morning. Hallelujah. I want you to come. I want to share a quick prayer with you.